In the video number eight uh, in the course of Foundations of Computational Economics, we'll be doing a practical exercise, which is called Bundle Goods Market. <clears throat> so um, let's consider the following market. Uh, this market trades the, uh, uh, not individual goods, but bundles of goods. And an example of such a, a bundle good could be Happy Meal at McDonald's, for example, where a set of individual goods is uh, sold at a particular price. Now, uh, another example which I had in mind when writing this exercise are the packages that you can get in theaters, so sort of subscriptions. And there's a couple of examples from Milan or Marinsky Theater in St. Pittsburgh. So you're buying uh, a collection of individual goods for a, 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 a fixed price. So let's consider a market which only works with these types of goods. Uh, I'll go to the standard Jupyter Notebook view. So let's apply the, the same logic as, uh, as we did before. We will construct the uh, needed attributes and create a new object uh, uh, from the, or, or return, return the new object constructed from the new uh, needed attributes. So it's going to be return a bundle good of Q and P, where P is simply the sum of the um, prices. And what's Q? Q should be the sum of the uh, quantities of each good, and uh, that should be a list, right? Now, this, is a, this list should com combine each uh, uh, quantity of, of self with each quantity of other, and if you remember, that's done by uh, zipping them together. Uh, self quantities. And we have to uh, a four in this zip and uh, two variables should be should be given here. So this is a this is a tuple again. And x will be taking the 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 quantities of self. Y is going to be taking the values of the quantity the elements of the quantities of other. And what we should return just x plus y, right? So the sum uh, for this this is again a list comprehension. You can see that they are used every uh, everywhere. Uh, let's check this. Um, there's something unexpected. Uh, I guess here we need to have a pass, right? So that so that Python understands what this elif what what's the block that elif is defining. So let's check the sum here. Oh, there we go. So all of the uh, quantities in these two bundles x and y had been summed up, and the prices had been summed up as well. Uh, how about this test? This test doesn't return anything yet. This is where we're adding a number to the bundle. Let's finish with this. Uh, so when we are adding a number to the bundle, let's do the same logic and return the bundle good that is constructed. Well, here quantities will not change. So uh, we can just use cell quantities. And what about the price? Well, price is just self price plus uh, whatever this other uh, argument is, because the other argument here is the number, so we, we just add the number to the price. Uh, this is this this is all. Uh, perhaps we would uh, add a comment here. Um, a number in uh, changes the price. Maybe the number is negative. Okay, now um, will that work uh, here? Nope. Uh, why is that? Why is that? Is x defined? There we are. I just reran this cell to make sure that x is uh, in the memory. Um, how about subtraction? Well, it's probably the same thing. I'm just going to copy this whole code into this subtraction section. Except now we will be subtracting x from uh, uh, y from x. So self is again on the left side of the minus sign. Other is the argument on the right side. And the same thing with the prices. We just subtract them. And, and here we just subtract a number from the price. 
Now you can say that this uh, doesn't check whether the quantity or the price goes negative, which is true. Uh, you can uh, let's let's check the specification. The specification doesn't say anything about that. Just difference between. So you can th you you know we can say that this implementation supports the short sale. Okay, but we could add the we could actually add the uh, support for the. Uh, for for the for the uh, or check for the positive or non negativity of quantities and prices, yeah. Here here you can see that we get negative quantities. By the way, so once we've added the uh, some code to the to the class and I rerun the class, we have to recreate the x and y um, goods because uh, of course. As they were created previously, they didn't have this functionality of being subtracted, and therefore I have to run this cell before doing the check again. And here we pass this this check. What about subtracting the number from uh, the bundle? Yeah, that passes again. Now multiplication doesn't work. So let's think about how to do multiplication. Uh, what does it, the specification say? Is only defined for bundles uh, and an integer. Integer, I guess. Uh, uh, and results in a bundle with all items multiplied by this number and price increased by the same number. So the logic is very similar to adding, uh, except now we have to check for the other, uh, f f uh, slightly differently for the type of the argument. Uh, of course, we cannot multiply two bundles together, at least not yet. So, or not in this specification. Number is the name of our second argument, so I'll change other to number. And number can only be int. And if uh, that's the case, then we have to create the new quantity vector. And this is going to be x multiplied by number for x going through the quantities of self, of the object. Uh, itself, and then p is going to be self price multiplied uh, by number, by the given number, right? And we should return the bundle with new q and p, and that's all for the uh, that's all for the multiplication. Let me recreate the x and y, and run the next check. There we are. I think everything matches. Yes. Now this is an interesting check. So um, the the command try and accept basically uh, runs this code in this block here, and if there is an error of a particular type, namely type error, then it goes into this into this block. And uh, uh, since we get OK one, that means that we've uh, successfully had risen or had created an error message or error uh, of the of the right type. And this is this is because we are multiplying here with a float. Uh, by the specification, we can only multiply by an integer. Okay, how about here? Here we're multiplying two bundles together, and we get an error of the right type again. And here we are we are not getting anything. Um, uh, this is a division. This is a division of a bundle with a bundle. No output. So we are failing this test. And that's of course because the division is not yet defined. How should we do the division? Uh, division is defined for integers and only such that all quantities are divisible by this integer. The horizontal bundle is fraction of the original with the price also decreased by the same number. So I'll copy over the code from multiplication. Uh, the integer check is going to be just the same. Uh, the quantity has to be x divided by num and the price has to be divided by num. But now we need to add the check that uh, the resulting quantities are all integers. Um, well, let's just to, uh, to, to be sure, let's do the integer division here. And uh, we can check for the remainder uh, to be equal to zero, right? So what is this uh, list comprehension? It 
it creates a list, it goes through all the quantities, so it acts in self-quantities, and then it uh, looks at, the, at whether remainder of the division of x with a number is zero, so it creates a list of truth and false, and then we can uh, again go to the building function called all, and uh, checks all of the conditions on the list. So if I say all here, so it checks for whether all of the elements of the lists are true or not. Now, if that's not the case, so if not all, then I can uh, then we can raise uh, an error saying that uh, let's say value error can only divide. such that the result uh, has int quantities. I think that's going to be enough. Let's check. Uh, where did we stop? We stopped here. Okay, type error if we are trying to divide uh, bundle by bundle. How about here? x plus y divided by 8. So by 8 we can divide, and here the, the pass goes. What about by 7? Uh, should print OK for if we get value error, and that's what we had just created. Finally, we can have now an expression here where 15 bundles of x uh, are contrasted against two bundles of y, and we get a bundle uh, of with these quantities and a price of 16.55. All right, uh, we've passed all the tests, and that means that we've completed the code. Now, once, uh, once that is done, we're done. There's also a solution that I've written previously, and it may be a little bit different from, from what we've just coded up, but it also passes all, the, all of the codes, and you can compare the two solutions. So just a quick note on uh, what our, your work is supposed to be on this, on this practical exercises. Uh, for the best results, you should basically follow all the steps and repeat them in, in your own uh, window in the, uh, in the, in, uh, on your computers and make sure that everything runs. And, uh, you know, you can go a step ahead, post the video, go a step ahead, and then if uh, uh, you get an error, then you go back to the video and, and try to do it correctly. So by only, you know, going through coding yourself and making the mistakes and correcting them, uh, only, only with this you can really learn how to do uh, all this coding. Okay, see you next time.